Hey guys, in this video I'm going to compare Python to PHP. So PHP is a very powerful language. It is very widely used across the internet. WordPress, which dominates web development across the internet, is built on 90% PHP. So the actual WordPress platform is built 90% with PHP. So you can tell already by that it's powerful. Facebook and Twitter were also built in PHP because it's also best for systems like that. For PHP, there's not a wide area you can go into. You wouldn't go into game development and stuff with PHP, not for like proper full scale games. It's mainly on the website, kind of like JavaScript, but a little more niche. There's not a lot of stuff you can do with it apart from web based things. So unless you want to go into that, I wouldn't recommend it because there's not a wide area you can do things like Python, which can be applied to quite a lot of scenarios such as game development, although not the greatest <laughs> choice to do servers embedded systems and python can also work alongside other programming languages uh, php can but it's not so clean and efficient it's also a hard programming language to learn so if it's a first language most certainly do not go into it because you'll probably be turned off programming forever so according to the official definition php is a html embedded scripting language so it's used for dynamic web applications, as I was saying before. It, PHP was written in the C programming language and it was made in 1994 by Rasmus Lerdoff. And it was used for monitoring his online resume and related personal information and stuff like that. So originally PHP stood for personal homepage, but there's not actually anything now that it stands for that I know of. So yeah, the reason PHP is probably not a good language to go into per se is because you wouldn't really need it unless you're building something from the ground up. If you want to build a website, you don't need to know PHP because you could use WordPress. But if you wanted to build the new WordPress, you'd need to know PHP or even something deeper than that, like a really, really low level area you're working in. So it'll be hard, definitely. And because you're watching this and you'll probably be a beginner, I'd recommend Python, not PHP. Don't worry, there'll be some places where PHP will be better than Python, which is obviously in web development, web applications, that kind of thing. So you definitely not use Python there. So if you want to go into that area, use PHP and forget Python pretty much. So yeah, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of it.